first of all, as Edward, Edgar already talked about, the requirements <laughs> limit must exist at x equals c, and the function of c is defined, limit f of x is equal to fc. So I'm going to go ahead and show you types of continuity. First of all, we have point discontinuity, where you can see, and first of all, the definition is what someone probably taught us was that say you have a pen here and you're just drawing along. As long as you can keep going, going along and you don't have to pick it up, even if there's a cusp, it's still continuous. But once you have a hole there, then you can't go through that. It's like you're stuck, man. You're just stuck. It's not smooth, so you just can't do it. All right, so take care of that stuff. And then, like I talked about, jumps, continuities, and asymptotes, another form. So I already showed you this. And here we have a graph. Nice example. And first question, is the function continuous at x equals negative 4? First of all, the limit does not exist because we see here, I mean, we have a jump discontinuity. Like, there's no limit. What's going on there? So we plug it in, x equals negative 4. We find that the limit is not the limit, but it equals 2 here. Or I'm sorry, 2 here. Sorry. I'm kind of blind. And then down here, we see that the limit of negative 4 does not exist. Therefore, it's not continuous because I mean, you can't jump down there, just can't do it. Okay, over here, is the function continuous at x equals 2? This point here, this, this point, this continuity right here. And the limit here is 1. So plug in, plug in 2, you get 1. So f of 2 equals 5. This point here, you get 5. And then just because, I mean, it works and there's a limit, that doesn't mean it's continuous because of the fact that we don't have a point there. Okay, thank you very much. That's continuity with examples. Peace out. Oh, wait, I forgot to add something. Some common mistakes. So, the things you want to watch out for are confusing the two. Just because you see a line here, that doesn't mean it's continuous. Most people mix them up jump discontinuities and point discontinuities. And also, as I covered here, just because there is a limit, some people might say, oh, there's a limit, so it's continuous from both sides. But it's not. Sorry. Peace. My topic was problems with continuity, so I'm just going to show you two problems with continuity. First, I'm going to start with, well, with limits and continuity. I'm going to start with the limit problem, and we're trying to find out if the limit exists when x is approaching 1, if the point exists at 1, and if the function is continuous. So the way you start is you take the top part where it gives you the function x squared minus 1 all over x minus 1 is a function if x is not equal to 1. So that's going to be an asymptote. And when x is equal to 1, the point is at 4. So you start with the top part, you factor it out, you cross cancel, and you come out with x plus 1. And then you use, um, as x is approaching 1, you plug it into the limit equation. So limit of x plus 1 as x is approaching 1 from the negative side is equal to 2. Limit of x plus 1 as x is approaching 1 as x is approaching 1 from the positive side is equal to 2. And since these are both equal, that means there's a general limit. Edgar explained that earlier. Um, so now that you know that the limit, ex limit exists, you can go ahead and check out the first part. And the next thing we're going to try to find is the function exists at 1 and if it is continuous at x equals 1. So we already found the general limit, which is equal to 2 as x is approaching 1. You plug it into the first step, the second step f of 1 is equal to 4 because that's what the equation tells us at 4, x is equal to 1. Um, but since 2 and 4 are not equal, that means that it's not continuous. So just because the limit does exist and there is a point that exists on that, that certain point that you're trying to find, doesn't mean that the function is continuous like Johnny explained. So you know that f of 1 exists and that f is, f is not continuous at x equals 1. So this would be your answer, let's say like in a multiple choice problem, which this came straight from a packet that he gave us. Um, another example is trying to find what k is equal to. Um, this is f of x is equal to x squared minus x over 2x. And f of 0 is equal to k, and you're trying to find out what point that is. And these are your answer choices in a multiple choice problem, negative 1, negative 1 half, 0, 1 half, and 1. What you do is you start with the top and you factor it out. So you get x times x plus x minus 1 all over x minus x times 2. You could cross count to the x's, and it gives you x minus 1 over 2. So what you do is you plug in the point that you're trying to find, which is 0. 
f of 0 is a function of 0 is equal to 0 minus 1 over 2, and it gives you negative 1 over 2. So B would be your answer, and that's how you solve them on tests. Um, some of the common mistakes that people have are thinking that just because a limit exists that a function is continuous, but as we saw in this problem, that doesn't mean it's true because a point can exist on a function. It would just be a point discontinuity. And that's it.